In Budget 2024, the Coalition Government will deliver tax reduction responsibly and affordably. Tax reduction will be funded within the new operating allowance for Budget 2024, and that allowance will be lower than the one indicated in the half-year update. This means we will not be borrowing extra to pay for tax reduction, and tax reductions won't add to inflationary pressures. Second, frontline services like health, education and law and order will get more funding. The budget will reprioritise government spending. We've been clear about that all along, despite some people practically fainting at the thought the government could do things differently. Overall, key frontline services like health, education and law and order will get more funding. These frontline services are our priority for new spending and our budget will show that. Finally, a legacy of heightened ill-targeted spending requires correction over several budgets. We are going to set a moderate, sustainable course of fiscal correction over several years. Any new spending will be targeted, effective and within our means. That is in stark contrast to the blowout we've seen in recent years. We won't fix in one budget problems that have been created in six. These economic forecasts do not require a rethink of the budget. The updated economic forecasts are sobering, but they do not change our thinking about the overall size of the budget or what should be in it. These numbers are not a surprise. We've been aware of the deteriorating forecasts as we've put the budget together, and I have been sharing uh, those insights with you. And as I said, we are not going to overreact to forecast changes, whether they are positive or negative. I want to make a couple of comments about tax relief and the operating allowance. Personal income tax relief in the budget will be funded within the operating allowance by a mixture of savings, reprioritisation and additional revenue sources. And that operating allowance for budget 2024 will be less than $3.5 billion, which is the amount that was indicated in the half-year update. We will keep below that allowance despite all the cost pressures and unfunded commitments we are still tidying up. 